Hello, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Fu. And last time, we found out that, just as I, Sakura, pr predicted, a new, a new power of Seasons is needed. And we found out we need to go to the Subrosian land. But before we do that, I just found a gash, a place to plant Gasha seeds. So we're gonna plant one. Because we're gonna be coming back in a little while, and it should be sprouted while we get back. Yeah, let me... No, I don't want to buy a shield, I've got one. And there are no like-likes around here. But yeah, as he said, there seems to be a strange... Well, let's let out the floodwaters first. Anyway, there seems to be a strange vortex to the south, and now that we've let out the waters, we can go down there. And Sakura just talked to us, so we don't have to talk to him again. Before we do anything, I am going to actually set it to winter. And you'll see why in a second. Because we are not going to be able to just get by in the middle of summer, because this area right here would be full of... Well, it would be full of deep water, like that. Water that we would drown in. So instead of just drowning, we're gonna go over here and see what we can see. Wait, give us that banana! The great Moblin loves spring bananas! Wait, give me a good kid and hand it over, or you'll be a sad fate. <laughs> Wait, he ate it! Get him! Wait, he got me! We'll avenge this! Basically, this is Moosh. I am Moosh. I got startled when they asked for my banana. Are they okay? I'm kind of worried. Before we forget, we want our revenge. Get ready, both of you. So basically, take out these moblins. They're pretty easy. Is it over? We we lost. Next time will be different. Retreat! Wee! And we get Moosh! The one who we have this strange flute for. Well, we can't use it yet, but... Thank you for helping me out. Tell me your name. Alex. Um, I... I remembered it. I can... I can help you if you like. If I hear your strange flute, I'll come find you. So, now our strange flute is Moosh's flute, and basically when we play it, he'll come running. I'll give you a ride anywhere. So, we can tap A to hover, and we can save it to ground pound. Like this. And that's his attack. His use is basically... Well, he can cover the most distance out of any of them. Oh, I can float if you tap A. If you move as I float, you can float across pits. Try it. Ricky is basically, because he's the easiest one, the powerhouse. He's the one that we that we would use, basically, to attack. Moosh is, as the middle difficulty, he's the mobility one. Oh, shoot. Unfortunately, he's hard to attack with because, well, we have to wait a few seconds before he actually, he actually charges up. We can, however, attack a little early as soon as he starts, well, flashing. But, he's just not as good as Ricky in the attack. The last person, well anyway, we got the Scar Jewel. Which, if you saw that place where we look, were looking earlier, that is where we're going to be using the Square Jewel. I'm trying to remember if I ended the episode or not, because like I said, I'm doing like five, five or six episodes in a row. But anyway, we saw the fortress up at, up, well, back where we were. <laughs> I, was, I completely lost my train of thought. We saw the fortress back there where there were the different indentations in the... Okay, good. There were the different indentations in the wall. That is basically what the that square jewel is for. We need four, three other jewels and we will be able to go up there. But for now... We're done with you, Moosh. 
because we have found the way into Subrosia. Oh, and the last guy is a guy we'll be meeting soon who doesn't actually have a good attack. But, I don't know, he's okay. Alright, so we're going to be doing a lot of digging this episode. Rumors tell of a precious red ore and blue ore. If you mix the two, you get an unbelievably hard ore. But it's a secret. <laughs> well, you certainly gave us that secret pretty easily. Alright, we're going to have to wait to do that, but... Like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of digging in this episode because this is where we unlock the Subrosian shop. Oh, the, the blue ones are worth one and the orange ones are worth ten. Rosa the pop star has been seen around here a lot lately. Rosa's key can open any door, even ones in the temple. Oh, that seems pretty useful. Lately, Sabrosia Market has become carrying lots of weird things. I think they get it all from the temple. Oh. Oh. Well, we're gonna go to the market a little later, but let's see if we can get back up here because, oh shoot. Locked doors. Well, looks like we need to see if we can find Rosa and use her necklace. But, I, I mean, these are Sabrosians. These are pretty helpful, helpful fellas. I bet, I bet she'll be pretty willing. Said Rosa's been hanging around here lately. She should be somewhere around here. Oh, goody. Getting enough ore chunks. We won't be just digging around half the time. Anyway. Like, my name's Rosa. My favorite ribbon floated out to sea. I, like, wanted to go explore the temple, but I can't go out like this. Huh. Well, it looks like we should get our, our new ribbon. Rosa's mystical necklace opens locked doors. Celebrities get the best toys. They sure do, buddy. They sure do. Of course, I've got all these weapons and power bracelets and crap, but you know, I'm not really a celebrity. You can find star-shaped ore in the sands around here. Hmm. Don't know why I'd want it, though. Well, we'll just keep digging, see if we can find anything. I heard Rosa lost her ribbon. I'm looking for something else she'll like. I wish I could go on a date with Rosa just once, but how do I get her interested? Hmm. Maybe being a big strong man like me. Oh shoot. I completely forgot about these guys. Yeah, sometimes when you're digging around here, you'll find those giant fire beasts. Come on, it happens to everybody, right? Well, what we're looking for right now is that star-shaped ore that they were talking about. I'm gonna give Rosa something she'll like so she'll date me. I'm gonna give Rosa- Oh, I just talked to you. But you had a second line of text. Anyway, like most of them were saying, the way to Rosa's heart is to get her a ribbon. And to get a ribbon, we need this star-shaped ore! Yeah, maybe we can trade it for something special. Maybe we can trade it for the one thing that we can trade it for. That made total sense. But anyway. <laughs> well, it actually did, but... Market. To market, to market. To buy a fat hog. Home again, home again. If you want something, we can trade. I want the cute ribbon. Trade for the star-shaped ore? Sure! That's all I need. And rare peach stone. I'll trade for 20 ore chunks and 10... I don't have ember seeds. You son of a bitch. <gasps> big bomb bag, big bomb bag. A big bomb bag. I'll trade for 10 bombs and 10 or 50 ore chunks. Okay, good. We did have 10 bombs. Alright, now we can carry more bombs. I think we get like 20 bombs. Oh, 30. Okay, that's even better. Like I said, favorite weapon in this game because it's so useful. So we gotta get that heart piece a little later. Shoot. I completely forgot that he asked for ember seeds. What was it, 20 ember seeds? <sighs> I only really know one place that you can get them to. That tree in Horon Village, so... What a cute ribbon! Is it for, like, for me? Yeah, sure, why not? Wow, like, thank you! Since you're so, like, nice, I'll go on a date with you. Let's go look in that temple. <laughs> I love the, the La Rosa date music.
Like, everything about Subrosia is crazy. But her date music absolutely takes the cake. It's just inc incredibly zany. Like, no, nowhere near anything else in this entire game. By far. Well, we're just gonna make this a quick date. I feel really bad about this, actually, because she's like, Wow, I'm gonna go on a date with you. I'm actually gonna stoop down to, like, take this, you, such a little village boy, out for a date. And then you just take her to the temple and leave her there. Or not even. Alright, well, we gotta get out this. I don't think it actually matters which way you go, really, because I think they all lead pretty much to the same place. But... The important part is that we're in the Tower of Summer, and I can't remember the Summer Fairy's name, so or F Summer Fairy's voice, so I'm just gonna make up one. You have come, adorable hero. Ooh, ooh, adorable. <laughs> I think she likes me. <laughs> I am the spirit of summer. In summer, vines grow tall. Remember that. And creeks dry up. Remember that too. Yeah, remember that, like she says. Ancient Hyru Hyrulean legends say the hero destined to overthrow oil, oil, evil, <laughs> has a see-up mark on his left hand. How are we doing? For We're good for time. Perhaps you are this hero. Now, I grant you the power of the spirit of summer! of Seasons has been blessed with a summer day. And same way we call every other season. I mean, I guess that's kind of a treat because she gets to see the season, the seasonal fairy, goddess, whatever, bless the Rod of Seasons, but I feel really bad because we're going in there and she doesn't even get a chance to explore. She's just kowtowing to my wishes, going in tow. And what do I do? I just go in there, I grab some crap, and then I just run off to a warp point and leave her there. Um... Well, now we can get to the market anytime we want, which is pretty useful. I'm just trying to think whether I should go back to Horon Village or not. Yeah, I'm not going back to Horon Village, not right now. Because... it doesn't make things easier. Anyway! Anyway! Let us go back! And well basically abandon her in the middle of in the middle of um Subrosia while we just leave. Yeah, in the middle of a of a field being hit by a volcano. Anyway, see you Rosa, thanks for the keys. Alright, so we got the Rod of Seasons, and we visited Subrosia for the second time, and well, got some of the best music out there. So we are going back, and we are going to go to that s that next temple. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons with me, Oaksfu. Take it easy, guys.